I'm Susan Young, and I've been in the property management business for over 15 years. But I have a special situation I want to tell you about. And it's about cats and cat dander. And what I found out, thinking that I knew it all, I don't. I had a tenant at this house, and they had cats. And then there was some people, when they left, that came to look at it through their realtors. They told me that cat dander is a huge, big issue, um, that they couldn't breathe, that their skin was crumbling, that it was just bad, and they had to get out of the house. So I contacted the tenant and I told her I was going to have to do work on it. So I did this work and let me tell you, it's expensive. You've got to clean the walls. You've got to clean the air ducts. You've got to clean the carpets. You've got to clean the light fixtures. It's more work than you ever do beyond pulling it, the house back as, as you normally do. It's an extensive, very thorough search and uh, process. So I had to pull her cat deposit, and it was even more. So fast forward, we land in court. She doesn't agree, and I have to, you know, thank God, the judge. He said, we have a right to bring it all the way back. The receipts were there. The job needed to be done. So, you know, we won. Yes, we won. Yay. Uh, the moral of the story is, if you're going to have cats, let your tenants know, as a property manager, that they're probably not going to get their deposit back unless they do an extensive remediation. And there's also a little kind of cute interesting situation that happened right before we went to court. I got contacted by Judge Judy's office to see if we, we wanted to go to California and spend an extra day and have fun and win in her court. Anyway, my tenant turned it down, so we didn't get to do that. But I thought that's a pretty unique situation to have that, to be contacted with that. I'm excited. Okay. Right. That's my story.